as the first quadriplegic elected to the United States Congress, I overcame many obstacles to sit beside you as a member of this chamber. But I would never have had the opportunities that I cherish today without the tireless efforts of those that came before me to fight for the right for people with disabilities. This ill-considered bill will not only decimate the protections that people with disabilities rely on, it will turn back the clock to a more segregated society. And it will unravel the core promise of the ADA that a disability, visible or otherwise, can never be grounds to justify or tolerate discrimination. I was injured in 1980 at just 16 years of age, a full 10 years before the passage of the ADA. And I certainly remember what life was like before the ADA became law. I remember that I couldn't go inside a public building that didn't have a, a ramp, couldn't travel without accessible transportation, and was excluded from gatherings in restaurants and libraries, movie theaters, and sports venues that uh, couldn't accommodate a wheelchair. I struggled to wash my hands at a, at a sink, access a restroom, and enter a classroom. I even declined matriculation at my first choice college because the challenge of getting around the campus would have been too difficult if not impossible. Congress really become so divorced from the human experience of the disability community that we're willing to sacrifice their rights because it's easier than targeting the root of the problem? Are people with disabilities, people like me, so easily disregarded? I'm here to say enough is enough. <laughs>